hey guys what's up welcome to another video tutorial where we will learn about how to use the mail merge feature using merge fields from a database document now in our last tutorial we use a spreadsheet to receive our merge fields such as title first and last name as well as the address it's the same same pattern that we will follow for the database option and as such we go ahead to select the mailings tab at the top of our ribbon and again as you can notice that the the, the fields that we will be utilizing throughout the document are grayscale meaning that whenever we click on them nothing happens because they are not yet activated now in order for these to become activated we will have to import our database information and in order to do this we are going to select the recipients and this option has three different subheadings to type a new list to use existing and to choose from outlook contact now in this tutorial we will be using the option that says use an existing list which just refer to our list that we will collect from database or access um, pop-up box appears and we can select our location where our database can be found and the name of my database is database once I have selected that I go ahead select on open and another pop-up box appears which is asking me to select which table I want to get my information from now in this list my members table is the one that contains the title name as well as the address information so I am going to go ahead and select OK and voila my fields have now become activated that are needed to be inserted in my document now in the last example we quickly went ahead and used the address block where we were able to see the person's name inclusive of the address and also we used the greeting line however in this tutorial we are replacing the address block to insert the merge fields individually now the first thing that i want from this option is the title and once i have selected that i select my spacebar on my, on my keyboard which i will then insert my first name tab again i select enter sorry i select the last name and then i close for the last first and last name i place my cursor in between and select my spacebar to just add some space in between the first and the last name once that has been completed my cursor is now placed at the end of the last name and then I select enter on my keyboard now in line 2 I want my address 1 to appear so again I go to the insert merge field and I select address 1 I close the cursor is currently at the end of that so I press on enter and I continue the same procedures for address 2 and country so I insert address 2 select enter insert merge and the final thing is my country and then I close so currently we have all the information pertaining to our address block the next thing that we want to add in this is our greeting line so again our cursor is at the end so we select our enter tab and this time I want to use one more enter just to apply some space between the greeting line and the address I am going to select greeting line and the current or the default format that the system gave me I will be using that one so I select OK and my greeting line has been entered now this section shows us the fields that will be applied as merge fields 
indicating that this is what will change for every single person for whom this letter will be sent. In order to see exactly what title appears, whose first and last name as well as their address and the greeting line, I will select my preview result. Once my preview result has been selected, it gives me a preview or a synopsis of the first person to whom the letter will be sent. So the first person in this list is Mr. Andrew Brown, his address, as well as the greeting line. I could just skip through to see the other records by selecting the forward arrow. I'll do this for two more persons and it is Miss. Abby Chang, the third person. Now the total number of persons for whom I completed information for in my database amounted to 21. So the final thing that I want to do is to go ahead and select my finish and merge and I am not printing or emailing. I only want to see all 21 letters within one document. So I select edit and another pop-up box indicating what records I want to see. Well, basically I want to see all records, so I go ahead and select OK. This in all the letters that I want to send out to all 21 persons. As you can see, my page information is loading as my letters are currently being installed within this document. So I take a little scroll just to see what is happening on page one and uh, there is also a closing line there which gives us the name of the club for which the person's um, letters are being sent from. Now as you can see the final amount of documents is 21 and once I quickly scroll through the last person in this mail merge list was Mr. Jacob Brown and his address and greeting line. So again this was just well the page number changed to 24 and so basically it would have been 24 persons and this just gives us another example as to how we can use mail merge to insert information regarding different persons once we are sending out a document to a large number of persons. Once again, I thank you so very much for watching this tutorial and I do hope you learned something new. Have a great day.